Hey yo, what's going on? It is I stripped back at it. Oh, snap! Oh, did you understand? <laughs> I did not know what happened. I'm not sure what came over me. Uh, playing more of some webtastic move deck featuring the new card Ghost Spider for the new season Spider versus. All right, what do we got here? Westview. All right. Okay. Got nothing to play this turn, which is unfortunate because I do want to get. Like some low cost cards like um, Human Torch or. Oh, there he is. Human Torch or even uh, Iron Fist to get in there. But, you know, we can make it work still. Alright. Let's see. The hub. Alright. This is also featuring Beast, who has since been updated um, from the last uh, patch to now become a 3 4 card rather than a 2 2 card. I feel like it makes us makes me want to play more carefully. So I got the combo going. I got Human Torch and the Cloak dropped and ready to rock. Ah, oh, and the best card you can use for a move deck, New York as well. So now I'm going for a big uh, four lo four card location swing. So Craven's down. He gets the buff because he moved Collector over as well. And then Human Torch gets doubled up and then beast brings everybody back so now i can use their abilities once again all right Ooh, he's snapping the man is confident let's see what he's got i'm putting down craven uh followed by human torch and we got the dagar and then the ghost spider so watch this trust the process okay okay i actually get an extra turn which is fantabulous so let's see Thanks to magic. All right. I have Craven down. Human Torch then gets pulled over by Ghost Spider. So Craven gets a buff. And then Human Torch gets a buff. And then Dagger is here. So now, turn six, we can move everybody over. So, start with Craven. Then we got Human Torch, Dagger. And then I'm going to put Doctor Strange and then Coke for a final move on turn seven. Look, it's a lot of movements everywhere. It literally is like chess. So check it out. Look, Craven's getting powered up, Dagger gets powered up, and then there's Human Torch getting buffed, and then Human Torch gets buffed again because of Doctor Strange, and then I'm gonna do one final buff over to Limbo when I reveal Cloak. It's madness, literally madness. But you know what? We're here and we love it, okay? So, Dagger's going, Human Torch is going. I'm throwing down the Brood because I have it. I'm snapping back and before any of that happens, he retreats. So, you know what? Smart move on his play, but, you know, I wanted the points. All right, what do we got next? Jobu Tupaki. What do you got for me, buddy? First location. Okay, Avengers Compound. All right, I gotta be smart because on turn five, that's all I can play. I can only play it over there. Putting Iron Fist down in the middle, because I do have Dagger. So, let's see. I'm gonna put Dagger over on the right side. <sighs> I played it right, because Dagger gets powered up. If I move her over, if there's an opposing card, I get plus two for every card there. And now I activated Miles as well, so good on me. Okay, he's playing Sister Sinister. Oh, this was a unlucky play, and he retreats because of it. But such an unlucky play. Because then he's he's basically locked out Sakaar for himself. So snappity snappity. Alright. Armor, aka the Baus. Alright, turn one. What do we got here? Ooh, the super flow. Uh, always always great to see you. Alright, we're starting with Craven since we can. And now we have a lot of options going. Okay, this is weird. I don't know why Sentinel was put out on top of Super Flow. I'm either guessing he's a bot. A terrible bot or an Agatha I don't know but let's keep going Stark Tower followed by Craven okay a Sentinel once again he's spreading out his forces across the Sentinels I have Vulture so you can see the play I'm going with here ooh Asteroid M all right okay Iron Fist and Hulkbuster watch this combo in action okay trust the process Okay, he's got a Pixel Agent 13. Pretty cool. Check this. Iron Fist 
He, the next card he, uh, that is revealed, he punches over to the left. I play Hulkbuster to attach to Vulture, so then he punches Vulture over and gets uh, get, he gets punched over to Stark Tower, but then Asteroid M actually pulls it back. So I got double, like, triple buffed in one turn, which is ludicrous. It's awesome. All right. Ghost Spider is actually going to pull back Vulture again since he was the last card. Buffs him up. Doctor Strange now takes Vulture, pulls him over to Asteroid M, buffs him up again. There's Angela and there's another Sentinel. Still curious why. Man, Vulture is just so buff. I need another variant for him. He's one card I do not have a variant for. <laughs> I'm gonna. All right, I got Beastie Boy and I got Miles. So Beast is gonna bring back Doctor Strange and Vulture. Uh, Spider-Man. Oh, he gets pulled over to Asteroid M. I did not calculate that, but it's fine. Okay, he's pulling back. Okay, he's got Mantis. So he's gonna take the top card, whatever it is. And that's fine. And he's got more Sentinels. And you don't see the strategy here, really, on in my side. Still trying to figure out what he's going for, but you know what? Doesn't matter, because we're about to swing hard. All right, putting on Vulture, Doctor Strange, and Dagger. Now. You may be asking why. Because I still have Asteroid M. Asteroid M pulls Vulture over. He gets buffed up. Doctor Strange pulls Vulture over. And he gets buffed up once again. And then Doctor Strange moves over to Asteroid M. All right? And then I just have Dagger to round it out. And he does not have anything remotely strong enough to compete. Okay, he manages to win Stark Tower. But his there is nothing in his whole field that can compete with my 37 vulture that's still ridiculous that i had that i was able to pull off that kind of combo ggs my guy